I'm ready. Am I? No, I'm ready. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. Now, today we're taking a look at a group called Nemophila. Nemophila. I don't really know how to say it and it sounds a bit like a condition. So I Googled it and apparently not. It's a beautiful flower. So that's cool. Uh, two quick things. First thing, all I know about this group is that they are a Japanese heavy metal band. Um, I think I saw that it's all female. Not sure I might be making that up. And two, to my knowledge, haven't heard anything from them. I say that because I used to be part of a couple... Uh, different servers that I'm no longer on and there were a lot of Japanese music fans who would play stuff on music nights you know mostly in the background doesn't ring a bell can't remember anything uh, but I am excited because you guys have been requesting this an awful lot and it's been on the list for a long time keep seeing the name and I thought better push that up to the top today's your lucky day uh, very excited about this without further ado Nemo Fella Dissension let's see what you got Whoa, easy. Oh, what are you guys doing to me? That is super cool. Um, I'm not sure what my expectation was. I've heard a lot of different kinds of Japanese music. I know I knew they were heavy metal, but what does that mean nowadays? Uh, cool, got me pretty hyped. So when I go back to listen properly, didn't pick much up there. Um, it's always super interesting to me though, when a song starts like quite bluntly, um, without an intro. I'm not saying this didn't have an intro, you know, there was that urgency and pace and, you know, you could hear the guitar was kind of EQ'd, but I have to hear it again. Um, whenever a song starts bluntly, you latch onto something, right? Uh, depends on if you play an instrument, what your capacity for listening is. Uh, for me, it's the drums, but not all the drums, just the snare drum. And, um, I think you saw me doing this, right? Kind of counting it. That snare drum is super steady. Doesn't go anywhere else. On that count, one, two, three, four. A lot of stuff happening around it, a lot of magic. Um, that can often be disorienting, uh, disorientating uh, for people and it can be quite confusing. However, the snare drum is your anchor. When we listen back now, focus on that and everything else will start to find its home. I'm stopping there for a reason. I know everyone's like going to be like, no, dude, that's the part. I'm going to go back. Don't worry. Don't worry. Listen, she comes in, picks the mic up, does that build up scream, and I am hyped as hell. I stopped there on purpose. I meant to break the flow there. Here's why. I want to live in this moment forever. I just want to vibe to this for a second because, um, I mean, musically amazing. Now, also, earlier on, when the intro was building and then broke a little, was that a bit of sweeping? And if so, is that the earliest in a song I've heard sweeping? There's a lot going on here. I'm loving the kick work, how it's a continuation of the snare into the next phrasing. It links up. It makes you less confident of where that four count stop is. I'm really hyped. It's also Friday, so I'm jacked anyway about that, but like, awesome. Um, okay, didn't know what to expect with vocals. Still don't really, but I'm ready. Am I? No, I'm ready.
it's a lot, huh? It's a lot, and I'm happy. I'm happy as hell because usually when you get that scream up front, you have, first of all, when they come in with the actual vocal piece, which is over that, I mean, definition, you talk about heavy metal, like that is definitive for me, at least um, modern day. Really intense, like nice guitar work, but nothing that overshadows or is meant to be like ultra dominant, very cyclic, very easy to listen to as a pattern. Um, if you can pick up the pattern of an instrument, I find then it's the riff has been written extremely well. Unless it's meant to be an odd time signature, unless it's meant to jar you, which in this case it isn't, not yet. Um, who knows what they're going to do. But hearing that vocal come in, you, you don't know if it's going to be a continuation as in more screams. And then if it is, what kind? And that was like very high pitched. Like I love that kind of stuff. Um, who's the band I'm thinking of? I keep wanting to say like August Burns Red. There's a number of bands from that that time that did really like, um, I think they did a cover of Paint It Black where it's like really high. I love that kind of thing. I want to see a bit of variation with it, of course. I want to see a bit of color added to that mix, but hot damn. Also, big fan of what's happening here with, this, with the um, hi-hat. Obviously, it's been kept slightly open on purpose. So what that does is it opens up a little and it allows movement, clangs, gets you that nice sharp cymbal sound, a little bit sharper than I'm used to. And but it's it's kept at a, a distance where it's almost like feels like it's rolling along any rotation and that'll provide that constant it almost sounds like splashy. Um yeah, I mean yeah. Yeah. No, oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like something stuck in my throat. Give me a second. <clears throat> Hydration is key. Now, um, did I go back? I'm so excited. I can't remember. Well, then we'll go back just a little bit more to find out and be sure. Loving that. I mean, listen, I'm a sucker for a good chorus and that is a goodie. Goodie. And they lined it up perfect. It's like T-ball. They smashed it because... I say this. I said earlier, I'm not sure where they're going with the vocals. Um, I know that Japan, at least from what I've heard, have got some pretty great singers, like really great singers. Um, all different styles and genres. And I I was hoping that there would be some variety to the vocal. I wouldn't have been mad if it stayed heavy the whole time, but I'm so grateful for that. Like That's my fit. And then for her to come in with a scream at the end there, um, just great just super great um there was the quirky like spoken vocal earlier on which adds like another level of dynamic to it very cool but um here where she comes in the scream again i want you to listen out for something because you get a scream and then you get like a distortion or clipping and what you've got there effectively is um an effect to help drive that screaming even more don't hear what i'm not saying i am not saying the scream is being made by an effect these are two separate things, but you can also do something to EQ it in a way that it sounds like it's clipping and it adds that live element to like a gig feel. And I think they've done that very, very well there. Breathe and go. Okay, this piece here, where they, hang on, let's, let's find them where they're bopping their heads. They're doing like a, a thing. I can't find it. Anyway, that's going to have to do. I don't want to click somewhere and then it's the whole thing. Um, but 
that is like really this is quirky super cool that they're doing that because it's um it's just another element another level of dynamics to it um it gives it a bit of personality as well i see quite a few of the members there doing that uh how does that work live is that i'm interested because my brain's going to live stuff so uh, do they just play a sample so which means they're playing so click track click track is the drummer would have a um like a metronome mostly the drummer um would have a metronome so that it, the samples align or play, or you could actually just trigger it using a pad, or do they all have microphones, which I think would be a better option. I think it'd be nicer if they could all do that together and let the singer take a deep breath. Um, she'd come in and just blast that chorus again. Very cool. <laughs> Vocals are doubled up really nicely. I'm going to stop here again. Ooh. <clears throat> I heard a note. I heard one note. I heard one little squeak. And that tells you we're getting a solo. Um, haters will say. Let's go back just a little bit. It's 10 seconds back when I hit the J key. little trick for you out there if you're watching YouTube. J is 10 seconds back. L is 10 seconds forward. I think there's a five second thing going on. You figure it out. Uh, shout out Google. Imagine if there was a tool that we could ask questions to. Now... Whenever you hear a breakdown come in in like um, the post, like the metalcore scene, you usually half time in slowing it down, really like dragged out, God, God, like crunchy elements of that. What I found with this kind of music, traditionally, I'm not necessarily getting that breakdown. What I'm getting is a run back into the same old like drum rhythm, but I'm getting intricacies in different ways. I'm getting, so here it's the guitar and bass. Your eyes are massive tools to help you with visual, uh, with active listening, um, visual based things. So you hear that slide instantly. I'm doing that because I'm thinking about guitar, right? So I play on a slide, play on a slide. And the minute it goes over the bass guitar, just seeing it, watch how your ears are able to pick that up even more. That isn't mixed that way. It's not mixed to kind of, of course that's possible, but generally speaking, things aren't mixed like that in a song. Um, the mind is a wonderful thing and your ears are just a small piece of a very big puzzle for active listening. I'm getting better at it. I'm having a lot of fun too. Before we go back into this piece and i see it's going towards the end i want to let it run out in peace without me interrupting all the damn time a uh, couple of things in the solo i mean just incredible musicianship there just skill and skill and hours and hours and hours of practice um a lot of different uh solo influences i'm hearing there at the end with the doubling up i'm thinking of like dragon force um uh, i'm thinking of some of like the older metal bands even like a judas priest kind of style lead work in certain things great great skill there that bar she picks up is called a whammy bar and you can bend it and what that does is temporarily shorten the bridge the distance between the the kind of the bridge that 
locked piece at the bottom and then the the headstock so um it gets that wobble in the strings which is quite nice sounds like it's diving um a lot of really intricate work there and just like well placed together also didn't go on for too long it was nice and just quick and pacey urgent important instant and then let you get on with the song very cool it's all the things i'm not Oh, I thought we get one more. Damn. Okay. Uh, no reactions to this. Uncool, guys. Not cool reaction community. Don't like. Um. Oh, wait. Is there? Yes, there is. Hang on. Let's bring it back. I'm lying. This guy over here. We are finally getting... Uh, don't sue me. Eric and Alan. Their names come up on the screen for you. Um... Dykadek, Dykadek, I've had some interactions, very limited, um, don't know him, them, but they seem cool, they seem really nice, and they're covering the song, or um, covering as in doing a reaction to the song, uh, and that means they're cool already, right, so go give them a listen, I'll make sure to uh, put their reaction link as well as the original reaction link in my description and good to see that other people are taking a look at them because they are fantastic and they also now have a permanent home on this channel and i'm singing for absolutely no reason and nobody needs that in their life here's the thing that was unexpectedly brilliant it's not that i didn't think it would be i just didn't think it would be that good and a lot of you guys who have been asking for this for what seems like forever are sitting there going dude we told you start listening to us your boy's listening. I'm trying. Okay? I am trying. Uh, there's a lot of music out there. I'm. What's important to me is the creative element, which I'm getting done. That's my job. I'll look after that. Um, <clears throat> you guys watch if you want to. Um, I really appreciate you watching. It helps the channel grow. I'd be a liar if I, if I said that I didn't want the channel to grow. And the growth metric of subscribers is one of those elements. Uh, it's equally important, if not more important, for me to see that people are learning things and they're enjoying themselves and I'm distracting them for 10 minutes. These are all much more important metrics. They all add together. They all formulate growth. So thank you uh, for watching and thank you for that. I, I really, really do appreciate the time you, you give to me and the patience you have for waiting for songs like this. Long list. I do my best to get to it all. And I can't, do, I don't want to do songs back to back. It's quite rare um, unless I feel like it's the right thing to do. I want to jump around and explore new music. So thank you for waiting. They, there will be more of this. In fact, I'm going to create a playlist and it's just going to have them in it because they deserve one. It's preemptively telling you there will be more. And I can't wait for that. I'm genuinely excited. One thing I did want to mention, one last musical thing before I just wrap this up is when you listen to the chorus, listen, um, it's going to sound strange, put headphones on. If you're not listening with headphones, it becomes a lot more difficult to hear anything I'm telling you because you have these just stereo blasting of... <sighs> more mid to higher frequencies just in the air but if you have headphones on in any kind of quality headphones have a listen and try and think of it this way bottom left there is a lead piece that shouldn't sit there not as in bad it just feels like how do they do that because uh the frequency of a lead piece is generally quite high so it should sit up, but it feels like it's been placed there somehow and that's interesting to me i want to go and listen back myself but have a listen for that there is a piece of lead work going on that is not meant to be heard not as a primary but you can find it. It's your, your challenge for the day. Um, lots more to come. Excited about that one. Don't want to go on too much because I'm actually on a lunch break during work. And I've got to go back to my real job. Um, or my actual job. This isn't a job. I don't get paid for this. And um, this is very cool. Also, I've got glasses. People moaning about my glasses. Hey, come on, man. You boys got to see. Also, the, the lights of the screen is killing me. It's killing me. So I can either have glasses, you see like some reflections, and everyone says, tint your glasses, do that. Calm, yeah, calm down, I, you know? But also, um, I'd rather have reflections in my glasses than burning eyeballs. It means I can do more of these reactions for you. So uh, thanks for that. Loved it. Until the next one, please be incredibly safe, be extraordinarily nice to each other, and have the damnest of good days. Bye.